closer, come closer, can you see? This is one of the anthologies that I was included in during November 2016 and this is, this is just so special, look, look how beautiful this is. This um, was a result of going to Portsmouth Writing Hub and the lovely Tessa who organises the group there, I'll put all the links um, below, um, got two local writers, Jackie Pack and um, James Vicino, I hope I'm saying that right to set some writing exercises and as a prompt we were given postcards from a local artist John Everett he's going to actually be speaking about his artwork in a moment at the end of this film and Tessa edited it to this sort of beautiful beautiful anthology so without any further um, ado I am going to get on with the John Everett interview thank you about the Kraken book, the new anthology that's coming out. Well, the book was based on an idea by Tessa, um, Tessa Dittner, who is, by the way, being a bit of a genius. And we were talking about, because I'd worked on the, um, the Pompey fairy tales with her, and a little while later she said, you know, it'd be really great. Um, James, um, James Bicheno, I think it is, or Bicheno, yeah. um, is doing this course where people go along to a gallery and they get inspiration back. Wouldn't it be great to do some of yours? So that was where the idea came from. Um, so we set up an evening in um, Waterstones in Pompey. Um, and the original idea was we were going to set it up as an exhibition, but actually it turned out to be easier just to sort of give everybody print. Um, partly because I keep selling the blasted thing. So, <laughs> so you, don't, you don't always um, have them handy. And we had this wonderfully creative evening with all these madly creative and very weird people. <laughs> what a truly amazing bunch of seriously dark people there are in Pompey. Quite, you know, they all look so normal and nice, you know, they get there, start writing, money O'Reilly. <laughs> and it was some great stuff came out of it. Really funny, really dark, really clever, beautifully written, and just it's an absolute joy. So it was, a, it was a real thrill putting the book together and actually reading this stuff for the first time in conjunction with my pictures. Um, my pictures, I always feel, um, I try and paint things that in a way you feel like you've come in halfway through a conversation. Um, I've, I, I have sort of said this, you know, sort of right from the beginning of when I started working, that I want I want the pictures to be quite mysterious. They're not readily explainable. I mean, sometimes they're a picture of something and you can see what's going on. But more often I want them to have a slightly mysterious content, something you have to look at. And I encourage people to make up their own stories. Um, I like people producing their own narrative for my paintings, because sometimes it's very, very different from what I've got in mind for the painting, as, as, as in the case of this book. You know, all of it, none of it was anything that I would have come up with. <laughs> so, um, so yes, that's where, that's where we started from. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so what's the next thing on the agenda for you, John? Um, the next thing on the agenda is um, I've got to finish off a very large painting, a large and complicated painting of... Um, it's a bit like a Mont Saint Michel, so it's a big stack of buildings out at sea. And it's called Sunrise, and there's a big angel over the top of it, um, a big golden angel. That's going to be the sun. And there's going to be a little moon in this, with stars and stuff. So that's finished. Um, the next thing that I'm really seriously working towards, I want to have an exhibition in Portsmouth, probably April 2017, um, late April, or maybe mid-May. Um, it's it's difficult, literally just for a, a week or so. Um, immediately after that, I've got an exhibition at the old boathouse, the Life Boathouse in Porth Leven in Cornwall, which is, that's our third year there, and that's a great, great venue. I mean, what more can you ask? Out the front door, there it is, the sea, boing, straight underneath, it's great. So that, that's always a lovely one to do, but I really want to show in Portsmouth, because I've never shown here. Um, you know, it's really, up until recently, there hasn't really been anywhere to show paintings um, um, but luckily I've now joined um, Art Space which are a very very interesting group of painters 
and sculptors and um, artists um, who have a very, very nice chapel um, somewhere in the middle of Portsmouth. I can never find it. I always drive there the same, um, different ways, um, in Broom Brown Road. Um, so I've joined them. They've got a gallery space, so um, that will be that will be good. So I want to start a new series of paintings for them, in, entirely new work. I try when possible, if we're doing um, a biggish exhibition, to just put new work in. Um, I don't. I hate. I hate re-showing old work. <laughs> and Jude said, "Yeah, loads of other artists do. You know, I mean, look, look at retrospectives and things like." No, I know, but I want new work. It's got to be. It's got to be right. You know, it's something that I do for me. I don't do it for other people. I do it for me. Um, I spend my working, you know, proper day job, working life, doing stuff for other people. And when I'm doing them, and they're paying me, they're welcome to say, "Oh no, can you just change all that and all that?" When I'm doing my paintings, they're my paintings. That's what I do. That's you know, they're mine. <laughs> So any advice on writers and artists working together? Do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a terrific idea. Um, I think we both have to... It's about communication. Um, now that's a slightly bizarre thing to say, given that the stories that have come out of the book that we're about to produce um, are... I had not seen them till we did the book. Um, I'd had... I'd, basically briefly heard them read in their unedited state but hadn't actually seen them and appreciated them on the page so obviously that's a peculiar piece of advice because I hadn't really communicated with anybody <laughs> um, above and beyond talking a bit about the techniques behind the paintings um, I think it's a wonderful idea but it is yes it's communication all the way it, it very much depends what you want are you for instance say we wrote a children's book together I would be responding to your writing. Um, in this particular instance, in this book, Octomorphosis, um, of course, that's that's writers responding to my work, which is a very, very different thing. Um, and it's, it's very different to responding just to what's in front of you, rather than me trying to interpret your words and trying to make them clearer. So it's absolutely you know, you'd, you'd have to go through a very extensive sketching programme. You know, it's not just about the way the end thing looks, it's about what's in this picture that's got to do with those words. And it's a, it's a, it's a difficult process, but it should be a very enjoyable one. Make sure you work with a nice painter, not a spiky one. <laughs> there are such things. I'm not one. Um, you know, make sure that you work that you're comfortable working with somebody because no matter how talented they are if they're difficult and demanding and keep changing and refusing to do what you want and in absolutely insisting on translating your stuff into their own style whether it's got anything to do with your words or not the project's never going to be a success um you know it, it, it should be an equal process it's a lot of give and take um and it's, you know, and again, it's different things. Are, you know, are you going to work with a, an art writer doing something like a bande dessinée, you know, a graphic novel? Or are you working on a children's book? Or are you writing on something factual? You know, are, you know, is it a history of the Portsmouth shoreline? Is it, you know, Victor Spaguniak, Portsmouth detective? Or is it inve the adventures of, you know, Flopsy the Portsmouth bunny and her adventures on the beach? You know, I mean, it's, you know, what? <laughs> you know, it's, that's, that's the other thing. And finding somebody who's got the right style for what you're doing. Um, you know, there are particular styles that are favoured for children's books. Um, and some illustrators don't have that. You know, um, they produce, they, they're beautiful, beautiful illustrators, but, you know, great landscapes, etc. But, you know, frankly, their bunny's going to scare the willies out of a kid. <laughs> And the last question was going to be about the Portsmouth Writing Hall, but you know, um, I just wanted to sort of somebody else to say about how it's a bit of a melting pot for lots of different creative people, not just writers, really. I think the um, the Portsmouth Writers Hub is, a, is is an absolute genius project. It's completely wonderful, and it is lovely that it's not just you know a group of writers sitting in a room talking about writing but actually opening the doors throwing the doors open and all sorts of people turning up and getting you know 
seeing the opportunities um, to work with writers and for writers going, you know, hang on, that'd be interesting. Let's let's do something about film. You know, let's there's all these people, you know, this person over there can edit film. Yeah, let's talk to them. Let's, you know, I've always wanted to do a programme. I've always wanted to do a kid's book. I've always wanted to do so-and-so. You know, and writers and, you know, painters being able to say, I love doing what I do, but I'd love to work with somebody and, you know, get something different coming towards me, you know, rather than just the stuff that I normally do. So it's a fabulous project. And there are so many talented people in there, really genuinely exciting, interesting, funny, clever, lovable, wonderful writers, you know. As I say, they're a dark bunch, you know, <laughs> fairly terrifying and a bit gothic, but... <laughs> There's some some amazing amazing writing goes on in there. So it's, it's real. It's it's fun to work with, you know. And I hope this is the first book of many. I really like to think that perhaps we can do one of these every eighteen months or two years, um, because you know, there's. I'm hoping to be able to be. You know, I'm hoping to be producing new stuff, and I'm hoping that they'll be able to, you know, come up with it each time, you know, because I'm not necessarily always going to want to write a novel to go with my <laughs> with my paintings. Right, brilliant. And if anybody wanted to check out your artwork, um, where could we find you? I'm going to put the link below. But... Excellent. I have, I have a beautiful, beautiful um, blog site. Well, I think it's beautiful. It's all right. It's quite nice. Really. It's got loads of pictures on it. Um, and it's got a bit of a museum. It's got, it's got the, the art museum as well, um, which is sort of all the older work and stuff that's sold or whatever. Uh, it's www, obviously, uh, johneverett.net. Um, and you can read my blog there, and if you'd like to subscribe to it, that would be absolutely fabulous, and you can find out a bit more about me and read my bio. You can read it in French if you want. <laughs> that's, that's how classy the site is. <laughs> okay.